I'm hella crunchy, as my coach would say, which just means I like to get my hands dirty and make my own things, but I'm still foxy, okay? Hello, 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 Ego Diana here. Welcome back to EGO Initiative, where we know that our body is a temple, and so we treat it as such. On today's video, I am sharing some of my hair care and skincare products that I make myself. You know, I'm really intentional about what I use in my hair and on my skin. I don't make all of my products, but what I can make, I do because I just like to know what's in my products. And some of the times I've read in ingredients and I don't know how to pronounce them. I just like to go back to the basics and work on and use what I have known most of my life and what works for me. So I use a black soap shampoo, which the black soap I use on my body as well and the brand that I use is Dudu Osun, which I used when I was a kid. And so that resonates with me, but I know exactly what's in the ingredients. For my body lotion and my hair, I use a shea butter cream that I make and there's tons of tutorials on here. This is really not about the tutorials of me making the products, but it's just showing you as it's a part of my routine. I washed my hair on Wednesday and I have run low on both my shampoo and my shea butter cream. So the moment I see that I'm running low, then I just re-up and make a new batch. And so that's what I'm getting into today. I am making three things. My African black soap shampoo and a shea butter cream, which I use as my body lotion and then in for my hair as a kind of sealing cream. And then I'm also going to make my essential oil roll-on perfume type scent situation all right so i'm gonna get started with the shea butter that's the raw shea right there and i'm gonna start off adding the sweet almond oil just a few drops i don't really measure anything here next is a grapeseed oil again i just kind of eyeball it and then we get to whipping i love using my hand mixer your girl used to hand whip these joints back in the day but yeah let's speed up the process and you know whip this butter next i'm adding lavender essential oil and bergamot as well I didn't really do a good job focusing these joints that is a lavender i believe and then i whip it some more I got tired here so I had to sit down you know get comfortable I thought that would be better for y'all to see me but I'm still wizard Kelly out here it's all good now I'm just gonna scoop some in that's the old container for my cream I used that I used the yellow one last time and now we're just using the clear or white one yeah I just scoop it into the tub Get it all up in there. It smells so good. Look how buttery that looks, y'all. So butter. And this is a little jar for my hair. Sometimes I'll add extra essential oils in the jar itself, but I'm pretty good with the mixture that I used today, so that's all good. You see this dead rose right here? I love seeing flowers kind of like wither away as well in between flowers that are also blooming. That is a metaphor for just life in general. I'm going to turn that into some rose water for my face. All right, so for the rose water, I plucked off those petals from the dying bunch and then I added in some water and now I'm adding in tea tree essential oil. I actually waited it for it while I was making my shea butter mix, so it's not quite as soon after, but uh, I'd say about 
20 or so minutes and then I am just going to filter it into this bottle of rose water mix that I previously had. It was running low so I figured I'd just make my own situation. If this was either gifted to me or I bought it, I could not remember. I've had it for some time now. But I make a makeshift little strainer situation with a mini funnel and some paper towel because that's what I just had on hand. And yeah, I'm just going to fill up this bottle right quick. It's still a little warm. Again, in the interest of time, I didn't want to sit forever. Wipe it off and we're done. Now for my shampoo, I had shaved in bits of the black soap and then I added some water as well this I really don't like for the water to be piping hot but I had to do what I had to do and <laughs> this is me dancing with my rosemary essential oil trying to get it to focus and then I got distracted the irony and next I'm adding peppermint essential oil as well then I mix it all in and let it sit again shea butter making was happening in between and now I'm checking on it to make sure that everything is all dissolved. And I'm going to transfer this into my little applicator bottle and add my tiny funnel and pour it all in. And voila, you have shampoo. Next, my roll-on. This is, has amethyst crystals in there. And... I pop off the top and I add my base oil again, which is sweet almond. That's like my go-to oil. Speed it up. And then I'm gonna add sweet orange, a few drops. Next, I will add ylang ylang or lang lang, however y'all say that. And the last, my favorite, bergamot. That's my joint. And that's what it looks like right there. I'm gonna close it up, shake it all up. And then might as well just apply some right now, you know? Y'all, this stuff smells so good. You smell it? You smell it? Smell that. There you go. It is great that we're out here eating right and focusing on our fitness. However, what goes on our body is just as important because our skin is our largest organ and it's really important that we're mindful of what we are putting on our skin because your skin is actually absorbing all of that stuff. I am the type of person who likes to read the ingredients of pretty much everything. And I found that when I'm reading ingredients, I have to Google a bunch of stuff because I don't, I don't know what they mean. And so with me making my own product, it's better for me to control what is going into my products that way. This is the disclaimer. This is not to say that you need to do it the way I, I do it, but it is to say, at least if you are reading labels, if you're intentional about what does this mean, you know, Google is your friend. If you find something on a, an ingredients label that you don't understand, you can always just Google it. That's what I do. But I got tired of having to Google everything. I'm hella crunchy, as my coach would say, which just means I like to get my hands dirty and make my own things. But I'm still fancy. Okay, what I'm trying to say is that I, as always, I'm showing you an example and the proof that it is possible to be mindful of what goes into your products. All right, that's a wrap. I hope y'all enjoyed those DIY not quite tutorials, but these are the products that I use and make on my own because I enjoy doing that. And I hope that it supported you. I hope it inspires you. And you know, it might just seem like a lot to make these products, but it really is not. If you make them in huge batches, then you don't have to do it as often and it doesn't seem like you are making all the things. But hey, that's a system that works for me, whatever works for you in your life and your lifestyle that is totally up to you take care of yourself on a consistent basis and be true to who you say you are and how you're showing up in the world especially especially during these times and so as always if you want to be a part of the tribe all you got to do is subscribe i know that's type corny but i'm a poet for real so you know that low-key rhymes and you enjoy hearing that so it is what it is all you got to do is subscribe pull up the seats Grab a sip of your water. Today we just got lemon in the water. Say your piece in the comments and I'll talk to y'all real soon. Peace and love.